Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Amit Asudani and I am a senior technical architect at Gather. In today's session, we will be exploring data assets in action using Gather IQ, our intelligent co-pilot that leverages generative AI to assist with Gather's functionalities. Data assets feature is designed to simplify and streamline the management of data assets within an organization. This feature empowers users to efficiently create, manage, and analyze data assets, ensuring data quality, consistency, and traceability. You can leverage advanced capabilities like easy data asset discovery using natural language prompts and built-in PII masking for actionable data security and compliance. Let's head over to the data integration module in Gather, where you will find various types of applications, including data assets. Once you get in, you will see a list of recently used data assets. To find a specific data asset, uh, you can use the search bar or you can click on view all to see all the data assets available. Now here, the listing page is designed to make it easy for you to view all your existing data assets in an organized manner. You can effortlessly filter, search and sort data assets based on various criteria making it more accessible and user-friendly. At the top of the page, you will find the same search option as in the previous screen, along with an advanced search feature. This allows you to perform detailed searches uh, using multiple criteria, including the source or the type of connection or the category, or even uh, based on the status. And with just click of a, a button, you can switch to gather IQ which enables you to search using natural language. Now this makes discovering data assets even more intuitive. Now, here you can simply type your query in plain English and get relevant results based on data asset names, descriptions, tags, and other metadata. Uh, like you can search for uh, data assets that contain flight or airport information. Let me try to find uh, data assets that contain uh, Alaska, airport records. Now here you can see that each data asset listing that it can find includes uh, data source, scheduled date, data asset name, data asset status, profiling status, version details, data quality score, and a lot of other information uh, readily available for you to select across the list. Now, for a brief overview of a data asset, you would click here. Now, this brief summary includes, uh, again, the data asset details, uh, uh, which includes name, state, connection details, and version information, including a data quality indicator, a visual indicator of the data assets quality, uh, metadata, and the context. Uh, uh, which uh, includes description, categories, and uh, uh, and many more things. Now, for each data assets, uh, this Eclipse button offers set of actions on data assets that you can perform uh, based on your roles and permissions. Uh, some of the actions are to use these data assets in uh, ingestion or an ETL application, mark it as a favorite, uh, or edit the configurations uh, Let's get into the view and see the intricate details of each data asset through a, a comprehensive detailed view. Now, this view has uh, uh, five different pages, uh, as you can see, the first one being details. This tab provides in-depth information about the data asset, including its purpose, owner, creation date, and any associated business context. It shows a quick summary of the data assets, including file name uh, where this data asset was loaded from or the database path uh, um, last when it was read from the source uh, when the profile was run last how many number of columns it has how many number of records it has uh, what's the latest version and the selected version uh, for this information now you will also see another uh, exciting gather iq functionality here is to generate metadata. What this button does is uh, helps you create business taxonomy. Now here you see the technical metadata 
of column names and the data types, but there is no business taxonomy attached. Now, you have multiple options to add this description. Uh, you can manually add it if you have data stewards. Uh, but what this data uh, gather IQ helps you is creating an initial uh, uh, set of uh, description and taxonomy, which can give you a head start uh, uh, with large set of uh, columns or large list, uh, set of data assets. Uh, let's try it out. Uh, uh, if I create, click on this uh, generate button, uh, it creates and it opens a model window uh, which will open two tabs uh, asking you to select columns uh, uh, and uh, uh, generate metadata. Now here you can select which all columns you want to generate this metadata and uh, see the result of that generation. Now you can either uh, regenerate if you don't like uh, the generation part of it, the description uh, is or if you want to edit it manually. Uh, based on the preferences, you can either discard or save it. And once it is saved, uh, you would be able to see it in the subsequent tabs. Let me go into the schema and rules uh, tab. Now here, uh, what you do is uh, you can explore the data asset schema, including field definitions, data types, and transformation rules applied if there are any. And this tab ensures a clear understanding of the data structures and modification. This also fetches sample records for your uh, uh, analysis. Uh, now, here Gather IQ also has capabilities which can intelligently identify various PII types. Uh, so, if there were any values, including uh, uh, email address or credit card numbers, uh, then you would see those have been flagged with a shield icon. Going into the next uh, tab, uh, data quality. Now this tab uh, uh, ensures uh, the data quality of the source uh, is measured to attest, assess the accuracy, completeness, consistency, and overall reliability of the data asset. This is divided into following sections, right? You know, you can see the uh, poor, average, fair, good, excellent. Uh, now what these percentage means is uh, if, the quality falls between uh, uh, certain percentages for for that matter in poor if it falls in 0 to 25 percent the overall uh, data quality score uh, uh, is categorized as poor uh, and the poor data asset cannot be trusted due to inaccuracies inconsistencies or lack of credibility and similarly you would see the excellent uh, category falls between 90 to 100 percent of the overall data quality score uh, now, a data asset that is exceptionally good and of high quality, it signifies data that stands out uh, uh, due to its quality and reliability. The next step being error search. Uh, and the error search feature can identify erroneous data, uh, pinpoint causes of data assets profiling failures. Uh, additionally, it also provides you a full stack trace corresponding to any errors detected. Using the search error tab, you can easily see distribution of errors over time for a data asset. And the last tab uh, being a lineage, uh, uh, this tab refers to the tracking and visualization of how data flows, transforms, and is consumed throughout its life cycle. Uh, the data, this tab illustrates the association of this uh, asset in various different gather applications. Uh, now, initially you see a basic lineage, uh, but you have the option to expand this lineage uh, uh, revealing the corresponding uh, lineage details the, that this particular version has, uh, uh, including uh, what was the source and uh, uh, how it is being used in upstream and downstream pipeline. Now, this wraps up our quick summary of data assets in Gather. Uh, for a more detailed look at everything that we have discussed and much more, uh, check out the official documentation. We encourage you to explore on your own and uh, see how it can benefit your specific use cases. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact us. Uh, we are happy to provide additional insights and support. Thanks for watching and have a great day.